Farming rainbow trout was introduced to Europe less than a hundred years ago, and today it is one of the most important sources of fresh fish. Over 40,000 tons are grown a year by European nations. France is one of the largest producers, like here at a freshwater trout farm at Virginia. Aquaculture of trout in France is, is a, an old story. It's uh, since uh, more than 20 years, uh, we produce actually more than 40,000 tons of fish in France. We are the biggest producer of trout in Europe and uh, the biggest producer in aquaculture in, in France actually. Today, a delivery of fertilized trout eggs has just arrived at the farm. In these boxes, there are over one million fertilized eggs. They're quickly taken to the hatchery and unpacked. Because they're chilled for the journey, they must now be brought to room temperature. Then disinfected in case of any disease. And placed into trays of flowing water. And very gently turned over using a feather. Over the next few weeks, the trays must be carefully checked and any dead eggs removed. After two to four weeks, depending on temperature, the eggs hatch into fry, which are gradually weaned onto a finely ground fish protein diet. This is a critical stage in their development. My name is uh, Vincent de Pierre. I manage uh, one farm of uh, Vivier Trans. We have uh, eight farms in uh, South uh, France. Uh, this is a farm where we make uh, fingerlings for uh, Vivier Trans. We have uh, four parts in this farm. We have one part, the hatchery, and uh, the fish stays until 1.5 grams. We have one part with uh, 10 tanks. Uh, we call it nursery to keep the fish from 1 gram 5 uh, to 5. Uh, and after we have the eight lines of uh, the farm to grow the fish until uh, 50 grams or 260. The second stage of the farm is the nursery. Here the new trout are placed in shallow protected tanks and grow very rapidly to about 50 grams in weight after four to six weeks. They are then known as fingerlings. It is at this point they are ready to be transported to the larger grow-out ponds either at this fish farm or any of the seven other units in the Vivier de France group. Before being released into water, they are bathed in a specially formulated vaccine to ensure they do not carry any disease. The fingerlings are then transported to the new pond where they will live until they reach market size. Rainbow trout are natural carnivores and need a diet that contains at least 40% protein. This is supplied them in specially formulated pellets containing fish meal, oils, fats, minerals, vitamins and a binder. One of the skills of a farmer is to gauge the exact amount of feed needed to give them maximum growth without waste. To do this, he must take into account the weight of the fish in each pond, their size, the temperature of the water and even the time of day. Traceability is very important in fish farming and the Vivier de France group have a sophisticated system of making sure they know the origin of each fish on each farm. For us, traceability is the most important and, uh, in the farm. When we resize the, the eggs, uh, we give a code, genetic code and uh, the year of we resize the eggs and we follow this code until the end of uh, the life of the fish. Even if we sell the fish three years or four years later, you can uh, find on the computer, when you press one key, all the historic of the fish, which kind of food it, how many kilos, with treatment, uh, in which dates we move the fish from one tank to the other tank. We have all the information about the fish. Once the fish reach around a quarter of a kilo in weight, they're ready for market. Transport is by specially constructed lorry, which takes the fish to a central packing plant for processing, packaging, and delivery to the final customer.
we have to be involved in marketing and we have to market our fish and to educate the consumers in Europe. We have to know that now we have a very good traceability and a very good security of, on our products.